Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we'd just do a fun little video about what I take with me when I go to do Parks on the Air or POTA. Parks on the Air is a completely free program uh, in the United States. It, uh, it consists of all national and state parks and in other parts of the uh, world also participate in it with their national parks. And what it is, is amateur radio operators, ham radio operators, uh, take their radio and they go set up in one of these parks. And there's a website called uh, parksontheair.org where you spot yourself, where you can be spotted by another operator or some services. And people will try and find you and try and make contact with you. And you see how you know how far you can go it's basically it's a test to see how how good of a radio operator you are given the conditions and the equipment and all of that stuff so real quick on this end what i take with me is the uh shegu g90 which is a 20 watt hf radio and the xpa 125b which is a 100 watt amplifier that goes with it if I'm just doing digital FT8, I only take the G90, but if I'm doing um, phone, SSB, voice, I take the amplifier. And also, this little interface box here, the uh, Shegu DE19. So, plug in all your gear here, and you have one cable on this end that comes out to hook up to your computer. So, that works out kind of nice. All right, so that's it for the radio. Let's talk about all the supporting stuff now. Okay, for the supporting equipment, I take with me this uh, Craftsman Packout Kit. There's a big uh, chest there in the bottom and two drawers here. Now, in the drawers, I keep odds and ends, um, different adapters, some extra uh, paracord for tying up antennas, you know, some clips. This is a small fan. This is an impedance transformer. And that's my Nano VNA. In the second drawer, we have more uh, tools. So I have little tent stakes, again, for antennas. More uh, paracord. Some of this uh, mechanics type wire. Really good stuff. You never know when you're going to need that. I have some uh, spare connectors. I have some cables of different types. I also keep a few snap-on ferrites in here to prevent, uh, pre prevent against radio frequency interference. So that's the top. And then this lifts right off real easy. It also clips on. And in the bottom is where most of the heavier duty stuff is. So in this little lift out tray here, I have a mallet for uh, tapping the spike of the vertical antenna into the ground, along with some string on a winder, and some paracord, and a little throw weight for putting up different antennas, a one-to-one -one choke, and a uh, Anderson power poles connector thing I made to power my radio. I keep a towel in here to put it on the tables or, you know, whatever. In here is a tablet, just a plain old Android tablet, nothing special. In this tin, I have the wires I need to connect the radio up when it's in the field. Again, nothing special. Some extra rope. This is a mass strength uh, antenna guying rope. This is the... Uh, end fed 40 through 10 meter half wave antenna in here is a uh, 20 meter dipole this is uh, <clears throat> 50 feet of RG 174 to connect up my antenna this is the uh, JPC 112 which is a vertical antenna 
hang on, I'll give you a quick look at that. So that's the uh, JPC 112 vertical. You start off with the, uh, you know, you put the ground spike in the ground. And you have your uh, connector that goes here. There's some radio wires under there. There's a coil for tuning, some extensions, and a 17-foot whip. So that all goes together and makes for a really, really nice vertical antenna that goes up and comes down all in all in about five minutes super fast all right i also have a notebook some more rope and finally the uh pecron power supply And I can plug, you know, whatever I need into there. And then also attach to it. On the back. What the heck happened there? Oh, there it goes. Am I, I'm sitting there on a button. Paul, you big dummy. You big dummy, Paul. All right, come on. Turn on. Now it's not going to work, huh? Because that's how things go. There we go. And it just says parks on the air. And I generally face that out towards, you know, road or the trail or whatever is going on. Just so people can <laughs> wonder why there's these couple old guys in the woods throwing ropes into trees and sticking metal poles in the ground. And that, folks, is everything I take with me when I go POTA, other than a nice wide-brimmed hat to keep the sun off my pale old skin. And I generally take my buddy Jim with me, my POTA partner. So if you're interested in more of this, you know, um, Leave a note in the comments down below, and I can get you more information on it. If not, I just want to say thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.